Hi everyone, it's Rebecca with LinkingLewisCounty.com and on today's episode of Hear All About It, we have two very special guests, Jennifer Helko and Wyatt Wagner. Jennifer is the mental health advocate for Narco um, and Wyatt is a client of yours. Um, welcome both, thanks for coming in. Thanks um, for having us. Absolutely. Jen, you're here for a very important reason. Why don't we just let you take the floor and we'll get started. Um, first off, I work at NERCL. Um, we're the Disability Rights and Resource Center for Lewis County. Um, we do have offices in Jefferson and St. Lawrence County. Mm -hmm. um, and July 26th is our annual ADA celebration and we're turning it inside out this year. Okay, what does ADA stand for? ADA stands for the Americans with Disability Act. Okay. And the American with Disability Act, sorry, um, was signed into law on July 26th of 1990 by George H.W. Bush. Okay. And it basically protects the rights of people with disabilities in various areas, employment, public accommodation, transportation, um, and, you know, state and local government. Mm -hmm. It just basically says that people with disabilities cannot be discriminated against. Right. Excellent. So, as your position, um, for example, why it why it came to you directly, and and why what were you seeking out when you contacted Jen? Uh, job help and finding jobs. Okay. For example, like how to fill out a your um, application or like things Building like that. Building a resume. Yeah, yeah. And how did how have you found that process? Uh, it's really nice. It's okay. been a big help. Okay, great. And we have we found a job yet? No, but we're okay. still searching. Okay, <laughs> keep at it. Um, so Jen. And, Besides doing things like this for why, what other kinds of things have you done, or, or can can you do for people? Um, we have a, I mean, we have a wide range of services. We can help with housing, transportation. We basically listen to the needs of the individuals that come in, and then we refer them out to the various agencies in the area to help them. Um, we we lend peer support. We're just, you know, we have loan things. We can loan out wheelchairs and okay. walkers. Um, it's just really important that people with disabilities know that they have the support from us. Excellent. So uh, Wyatt, like I said, reached out to you individually on his own. Um, can other family members contact you? How, how, how would they get a hold of the organization? Um, if anybody with a disability wants to use our services, they can call the office, 315-836-3735. Um, we'd be more than happy to meet. We have family peers also that work with the parents to support the children. Okay. And then we have independent living advocates, which work work with adults. Okay, so there, there's there's no age limit to this? No. Okay, excellent. Um, so you mentioned that this is the anniversary of this being signed into law? Yes. Okay, and what are some of the things you guys are going to be doing to promote that? Um, in the past, we used to have a huge, like, event. Mm -hmm. um, and then COVID hit and we started tabling because we couldn't have our event. And we realized that we could get more outreach and reach more members of the community if we were out in the community. So we're going to be tabling at various locations throughout Jefferson, St. Lawrence, and Lewis County. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be in Lyons Falls, Copenhagen, two spots here in Lowellville, Harrisville, Krogan, yeah, all over. All Excellent. Over. And what will people find um, in, in those information um, We'll have information, any information that they may want about our services. We are also going to have a basket raffle at each each okay. location so you come on out throw your name in, in and we'll see who see if you can win it um really nice baskets actually um, great full of great items so you know just anybody that has any questions but it's mainly about awareness mm -hmm. so these baskets at this raffle do you are you still looking for donations for from the community to be raffled off or are you guys I think we're, we're pretty sad excellent excellent so you mentioned um, how to call you guys directly. Is there a Facebook page or a website that anyone can look at? We do have a it's Northern Regional Center for Independent Living. We do have a great Facebook page. We post all of our events on there. Um, but this is our big one. Everybody's okay. pretty excited about this Sure, one. excellent. So back to Wyatt. So in addition to helping him um, with the application process, probably the interview process too, you guys will mm -hmm. kind of go over that. Um, he gets the job. Is there still some further support that he could get from you guys? Do you? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. describe to us what that would be I'd like. Be, um, maybe some job coaching. See what his okay. assess what his needs are at that point in time. Okay. Yeah. Why is there a particular job you're hoping to get? 
Um, not right now. I'm just kind of looking you'll, for... You'll take it all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so where are you in the process? Are you, have you started your applications? Yeah, we've applied for a lot of places. Okay. Well, great. I certainly hope that you find something. Um, anybody that's looking to... Um, are you looking for volunteers? These are all paid positions, I'm assuming, to be yes. advocates, right? Yeah, we do accept volunteers. Of course, that's kind of gone a little bit down, too, with sure. with COVID in the process. Right. We we are still masked at our office cause, okay. because of our, our funding source. But right. it's... um. You know, I mean, of course, we always want people to feel welcome to walk okay. in. You know, yeah. there's a process if you do become a volunteer. We really haven't had a lot recently, but sure. I'm sure we'll we will okay. in the future. Again, so. so anyone that's looking to be a volunteer for your organization, same way, Facebook page, call yeah. the office. Yes. Um, did we cover everything? Is there anything else? Why is there anything else that you want to say as far as your experience with Jen? Uh, my experience has been really good. That's it's awesome. Been very helpful. Great. So you would encourage others to do yeah. the same. Great. Jen, anything else you'd like to add? No, just come on out. Come see us. We'll be so happy to see you all in the community on the 26th. Again, 10 to 3. Okay, great. Thank you so much, guys, Thanks. for stopping in. Appreciate it.